Scientists say the coronavirus is becoming more infectious without becoming more deadly. Here's why this is important. According to new research, the coronavirus had bifurcated into G and A viruses when COVID-19 spread to California in March. The study published in Cell states that the G viruses, which are now the dominant type globally, are differentiated from A viruses by variations in the spike protein. Spike proteins are the sugar protein structures on the coronavirus's shell that help the pathogen break into host cells. The G-type coronaviruses replicate more efficiently than D-viruses by a factor of two or three times. This means patients infected by the G-strain have more viruses in their body. However, testing samples from six San Diego residents, the scientists found that human antibodies eliminated the G-strain as well as, if not better than, the D-strain. In a news release, lead author Erica Sapphire of La Jolla Institute says being weaker and less deadly is perhaps the G variant's competitive advantage, as people who are asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic are more likely to infect others. The virus doesn't want to be more lethal. It wants to be more transmissible. It wants you to help it spread copies of itself. It wants you to go to work and school and social gatherings and transmit it to new hosts, Sapphire is quoted as saying. You know what other wonderful things are coming out of China that the world truly needs? Just when we thought 2020 couldn't possibly get any worse, Mother Nature surprises us. Researchers have flagged a new swine flu that may wreak more havoc on top of COVID. And yes, it is from China. Scientists from China have found a virus with pandemic potential that is related to the swine flu, according to a study in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The new virus is dubbed EAH1N1G4. Science magazine reports the G4 variant virus has genes from three types of H1N1, the Eurasian avian flu, the strain that caused the 2009 pandemic, and a North American strain that has genes from pig viruses. Swab tests on 31,000 pigs found H1N1 spreading among farmed pigs in at least 10 provinces in China, and most of the 178 confirmed cases are of the new virus. According to a previous study, two people in China were infected by the new swine flu, although the virus did not transmit to others. The study notes that the virus appears to attack the human respiratory system. Just how worried should you be? Well, scientists aren't quite sure. According to the new paper's first author, Sun Hong Li, the virus may have traits that facilitate adaptation for human-to-human -human transmission and increased surveillance is necessary. Epidemiologist Martha Nelson, who is not connected to the study, says the likelihood of the virus becoming a pandemic is low, but added, quote, influenza can surprise us. Mm, very reassuring, Doc. China is rightfully spooked by a new outbreak of COVID-19 right in its capital. Here is what we know. China has published the preliminary report on the Xinfadi market, a major food distributor that is linked to Beijing's latest surge in coronavirus cases, according to Reuters. Citing the initial findings, Reuters reports the market's seafood and meat stalls were heavily contaminated by the virus. The Chinese report speculates that low temperatures and high humidity helped the virus to thrive in the market. Citing the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Reuters reports that most Xinfadi employees who became sick worked in the seafood section, followed by the beef and mutton section. Patients linked to the seafood section were the first to show symptoms. Inspectors found the virus on chopping boards used for imported salmon. Reuters reports that Chinese authorities have warned the public against eating uncooked salmon and halted imports of the fish from European suppliers. However, Chinese officials still do not know where the new outbreak came from. Reuters reports that a leading body of the Chinese Communist Party issued a statement this week saying the lack of hygiene in the nation's food supply chain must be addressed urgently. Color me shocked, comrades! New research shows the coronavirus outbreak might have started a lot earlier than the Chinese government wants us to believe. Satellite imagery of vehicle traffic around hospitals in Wuhan suggests the coronavirus may have struck the city months before the outbreak was acknowledged, according to Harvard University researchers. The manuscript of the study has yet to be peer-reviewed. According to the paper, the team reviewed satellite traffic images at the parking lots of six hospitals in the autumn of 2019. 
The researchers found a surge in the number of parked cars after comparing the data to the same period in the previous year. At the Wuhan Tianyu Hospital, which is one of the city's largest, the team counted 285 cars and trucks. This traffic volume is viewed as a proxy for respiratory patient intake, and the count marked a 67 percent increase over 2018. Additionally, the team analyzed internet search terms in China and found an uptick in searches for the words cough and diarrhea. Naturally, the authorities in Beijing resisted the claims. The BBC cites officials as saying the study is absurd and based on sheer speculation. However, the researchers note that hospital traffic volumes have been used effectively as a proxy for detecting respiratory diseases in Latin America. So, let's take a look at the raw data. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.